Dr. Mary Lambert and I'm currently the director for the new Office of Community Health for the City of Chattanooga. Our new mayor, Mayor Kelly, um, established this new office which has not existed before. We of course have the health department, our great partners and others, um, the hospitals we have in this great city. Um, but we have not had a city office of community health to really focus in on where we see the, the disparities in health which impact how badly they're going to be impacted by the lack of the COVID vaccination. But first of all, I fell in love with public health at UTC. When I had my public health rotation, I thought, man, this is what I want to do. You know, you can you help people get well, and you also can prevent them from getting ill in the first place. Keep them healthy. I love that. I love that. The faculty at the School of Nursing were just awesome. I mean, supportive. They themselves were very knowledgeable, experienced. They served as seriously huge role models. Everything from how one conducts oneself in a clinical setting, how one interacts with patients and with their families, how one cares for the community, and how one engages with their professional organizations in the community and actually had the opportunity to work as a, um, as a nurse, uh, a nurse aide, they called it at the time, at Park Ridge um, between my junior and senior year because I had the clinical experience to do that. Um, and had some really supportive people there, but the faculty were phenomenal. And I think the school was pretty, pretty neat as well. It still is, it still is. Uh, and I'm actually getting to work with some of the faculty there now. Um, so I just wanna, I give guest lectures. I've given a guest lecture and I'm, Looking forward to hopefully being a part of lighting some other nurses onto public health. I think it's always easier to prevent than it is to fix it. I did work as a public health nurse at the Chattanooga, the in Chattanooga Hamilton County Health Department, but I had to work, the requirement then was to work for at least a year at an inpatient hospital. So I worked a year or two at Erlanger, and that was a great experience. And then um, was able to get in the health department as a public health nurse. Um, and I thought, okay, that's probably more I can do. So on to an advanced practice degree from Emory University. Uh, some service in the, in the Army Reserves, got a lot of military in my, in my family. Um, served in the Reserves for 10 years and then went active duty. Uh, active duty for about 24, 25 years. Um, but I knew I wanted to come back home to Chattanooga. So to get back here and to be able to, to be asked to serve in this capacity is humbling and huge honor, huge honor. So I'm giving it my best.